Hey Exoticals, I am back with another video and I want to talk about, first of all, why I've been in my, haven't been making videos lately. It's due to, um, because I, as I told you in the one, one of the last videos that um, me and my mom got into it, to the point where me and her are no longer in each other's lives. And I made that firm decision about a week and a half ago or so because we got into an argument because she has always been trying to take my son from me and she's been trying to manipulate him in different ways to try to get him to want to stay with her not me she's always talked about me bad behind my back I'm because she talks about everybody bad behind their backs it wouldn't even like she the way she talks about me and how she, she thinks I'm not a good mother, first of all. She thinks I don't mean my son well and there's just certain beliefs that she has that I don't. And because of that, she thinks I'm just a horrible mom because she's a Christian and I'm not. So she, she thinks a lot of the things that I do is not cool or not, <clears throat> you know how it is. So I've just... And then she she she, just, she still treats me like a child. And that's something I had to put my foot down about. I was like, I'm tired of her treating me like a child. I'm not a child anymore, I'm grown. And she, I had to set boundaries with her because she has no sense of boundaries. She's always nosy and trying to get into my business and my relationships. <clears throat> She's always trying to get into the business of my relationships. She knows more about my relationships than she's supposed to know. Always trying to find something out, digging into these guys' lives, doing background checks on them for what? She don't trust anybody I date. And then she always talks shit about the people that treat me bad every time we get into it. Like, oh, that guy did this and that and so many things. And then she always counts favors, so she can never give a gift without it. You know what I'm saying? She always has to use the gift that she bought somebody as, like, almost insurance. So when we get into it or you get in a fight, she'll bring it up. Like, oh, I shouldn't have bought this for you and I shouldn't have bought that for you. I thought that was a gift. Gifts are gifts. But she treats gifts like insurance. She's just very narcissistic in so many ways. And then when she threatened to call CPS on me because she doesn't like my boyfriend, and that's when I flipped out. She, it's a whole situation, y'all, where she was, first of all, because my son, his real father isn't in his life at all. Not at all. Not at all. To the point where even last year, he, he claimed that all of a sudden that's not his child because I wouldn't give him any money. So that kind of paints a picture of the type of guy he is, right? So keep that in mind. So my mom, <clears throat> so mind you, my son is in on the East Coast right now with his grandparents visiting for the summertime because I was nice enough to let him stay with them in hopes that they wouldn't try to take him from me like they tried to did last year because this is not new. This is something that they tried last year, but I tried to forgive them and let them see their grandson again last year was a whole nother story but this year i was like let me give them another chance they'd be trying to manipulate him in certain ways like to get him to stay because they are afraid of my environment because i live in california and it's so dangerous out here and they visited over here and if y'all know what Woodland Hills, California looks like it's not dangerous at all they're just extra paranoid about everything everything and they're never proud of they're never proud of me of what i accomplished my dad's more proud of me than my mom my dad will say when he's proud of me and he supports me because i know i'm a videographer and i be doing jobs and because you know we have props in our videos music videos because i work with rappers and they have like guns and and pro and you know drugs and stuff as props for their music videos but when she sees my music videos she's like oh you be having drugs around him she thinks i'm just she just paints this horrible picture of me but she's been doing that since i was a child she's always judged she judges everybody she judges my boyfriend 
she doesn't even know him he doesn't want to know her because her energy is just wicked and judgmental like from the moment she met him she was instantly judging him and always making smart or i mean um always throwing microaggressions his way because she sees a guy with dreadlocks and he's a he isn't an alpha male so he's a sir he's aggressive by nature but he, overall he's a good guy to me he's always uplifting me in ways uplifting my self-esteem if it wasn't for him i wouldn't even be a videographer if it wasn't for him i wouldn't be in california at, at all because he has family out here and connections and all of this stuff i wouldn't be working with celebrities if it wasn't for him so he has helped me in a lot of ways you know me and him have our own issues but that doesn't take away from the fact that he's been there for me more than i can say anybody even my own mom has so i think she just she doesn't like first of all she never liked any of my exes but she's always talking about them like she'll randomly bring up an ex-boyfriend like why are you randomly bringing him up like why do you care so much about my like i'm in my 30s and she still treats me like she's like needs to be telling me what to do and all kind of, and i even when i go visit them when i'm on the east coast they give me a curfew and they just treat me like a child and i have i'm grown now and then the way she just always is making me seem like i'm fast and i'm just pretty like when i was a child that was like a thing like she will always do that and i wasn't even I didn't even lose my virginity until like six, 17 years old. I was late. I was real late. So it's, I was a very good Christian girl. I, have, I love the Lord, but me and, the, me and God have our own personal relationship. So I'm very private about it. So I guess because she doesn't see me being a Christian that I'm all, I guess I'm not a good person. I don't know what her reasonings for thinking negative of me is. Cause I've never been negative, not once. I've never been angry, negative a person, but she sees me that way, and I just don't get why. I seem to trigger her very easily. When they even came over here to visit, we were on our way to go to Disney, like Disneyland, and something I said, and it had nothing to do with her. It had to do with it had to do with my son. Um, and I was talking about how how my son how he wants to go to the gym and my boyfriend which is his stepfather because they have their own relationship and she doesn't like that either because she doesn't like my boyfriend but would, my boyfriend would help train and my my mom was like oh you shouldn't have him um teaching him things because this is not his real daddy and i'm like First of all, his real daddy isn't in his life. He is in his life. And he's been there way more than his real father ever has been. He's bought him shoes and clothes and got his hair cut. But none of that stuff matters to her. So my last straw for me with all of this, with me and her relationship and how negative it has been and me trying to ignore it and because it's my mom and I'm supposed to have a relationship with her. The last straw for me was when she threatened child social services on me because child protection, y'all know, y'all know what I'm saying, CPS on me because, um, because she doesn't like my boyfriend and I caught her trying to be sneaky and trying to manipulate my son into staying with her and it was just this whole thing i could i could explain how i found out but that's gonna take a whole nother 10 minutes basically i caught her trying to do some sneaky shit because she accidentally text something in a text message that kind of threw the conversation off like hold up are you trying to be sneaky here and then I, we i ended up confronting her and she got all defensive and angry and that's when i knew i triggered her because i caught her lying and I, I exposed her. I, I put her on blast. And my dad had to get in the middle and try to calm us down. But my dad, of course, wouldn't take her side. Because she's over there on the other side of the phone talking to my daddy. Like, are you going to take her side when he's talking to me? And he knows I'm right about the things that I'm saying. I'm saying things like my sister, my step, which is her stepdaughter, which is my father's real daughter. Before He had her before he even got married to my mom. But 
my stepsister was in my life because my mom thought that she would take him away from her and i'm like that is his daughter what are you talking about you crazy narcissistic woman you insecure woman like that's a child you're saying you're telling me the reason why i don't have a relationship with my sister is because you were feeling jealous she basically said a whole bunch of stuff that just sounded crazy to me and narcissistic and jealous and insecure like you don't treat your daughter the way she treats me and i had enough so that's why i've been mia y'all been dealing with this emotionally because honestly that conversation a week and a half ago sent me back a couple notches in my because i was doing such a good job with not letting things bother me because you know when you have a mother wound you you come with a lot of characteristics in your womanhood that aren't that great like for example i people please a lot um that's a that's a side effect of having an, a toxic mother relationship mother wounds um i also i get i would get insecure in certain situations um but when i get insecure i don't take it out on people i go figure out what's wrong and heal that my mom does the complete opposite there's a way to handle your insecurities because it's it's i think it's natural to be insecure but you got this is the way you handle it it's all about the way you handle it and she handles it like just being mean to people and nasty and start just talking dirty about people she says some of the dirtiest things i've ever heard a human being say about somebody like i literally heard this woman say while she was ranting about my dad this was a couple of years ago because my dad because my dad has two sons that have mental illness and they both ha- i think they both had um what is it called um um not what is not all timers <laughs> um what is it called autism they both have autism and my mom said to me in the rant one day when we were trying to build a relationship again but she's going on and on about my dad and how he cheated on her with all these light-skinned women that's a whole other video i'm gonna make my mom is a reverse colorist but um she was going on and on about my dad and she ended up saying that my dad was cursed with two retarded sons because he cheated on her like i have and then she say about my my deceased aunt because they they had issues when i was they i remember when i was young her and my mom not getting along and not understanding as a child why but now as an adult i understand why and she said this wasn't even a year after my aunt died was and she's my favorite aunt mind you one of my favorite aunts and she said all the people who ever talked about me is in the ground my dad's sister her got into it too growing up so she's no longer here with us i'm assuming she's talking about her too my mom is just a complete narcissist and she doesn't care what she says out of her mouth so she pretty she basically set me back in a lot of things like my insecurity started to come back up i started to get triggered off of things that shouldn't have triggered me i'm people pleasing more than i'm used to ple- people it's like she sent me backwards or something um some other side effects of a mother wound is um wanting to feel accepted and never feeling accepted in anywhere and if y'all hear a noise it's just my ac i'm in the car and i'm recording and it's hot <laughs> so just forgive me this is a raw video i just wanted to exp- talk to you guys about this where i've been why i've been mia and also make this a video about mother wounds and how they affect you as a a woman in adulthood so not feeling accepted not feeling accepted in any situation was definitely something that i dealt with um that's why i would join so many clubs in college and in school because i wanted to feel accepted i would join a sorority to feel accepted 
and if I felt like somebody didn't like me, I tr people please to make try to make them like me. That's a sign of a um, mother wound. Um, what else were they saying is a side effects? Never, never feeling good enough, not feeling any self worth for a very, very long time, and I'm still struggling. That's why I felt like she set me back because. Y'all know I've been telling y'all I've been doing good with therapy for like a year straight and my self-esteem is up and I'm good and everything's great. But ever since my me and my mom had that argument a week and a half ago, it re-triggered stuff in me that I thought was gone. And I haven't been making videos because I've been trying to emotionally deal with that. Like I've been crying every other day because I'm so angry and hurt about how broken I feel been because of her and then she has the nerve to throw all of my pain in my face so another another sign of mother wound is always being in relationships I was one of those girls that was always in a relationship and she gonna throw that in my face and it's her fault why I'm like that like I always be with guys and I'm always with a new boyfriend or whatever she said and I'm not the one staying with a man who's going to cheat on me like you are for 20-something years. That's not going to be me. And I think you're mad about that because you know that's not me. I've always been independent. I've never needed a man. And she knows this. I joined the military because I didn't want anybody. I didn't want to ever depend on anybody, ever. And I did not want to join the military. My dad tried to convince me since I was in eighth grade and middle school I should join the military. And I always... I always shut him down. I was like, I'm not trying to hear that. But, you know, there came a time where I was like, I don't want to ever have to ever depend on somebody. I want to be stable. That was one of my goals in life, to be stable. So I know the military would offer that as a guarantee. All I have to do, all I have to do is do one contract, right? So that's what I did. And because of that, now to this day, I'm 100% dis VA disability if you know you know I am 100% rated disability that's great that means I'm gonna be set for the rest of my life my son could go to college for free I can I don't have to ever pay for tags on my car ever again so many more benefits I get paid I get a check for a month for the rest of my life but you know it's so sad that I am 100% is because of my mental health my anxiety is 70% and my depression was like 30%, which is not cool because it shows me that I have mental illness, you know. And I accept and own it because I, I want to help people. So I don't really care. I'm anonymous too. I really don't care. And I, I know I want to, somebody needs to hear this. And it's okay to accept your flaws we're all human beings we all have something flawed about us there's nobody perfect in this world mental illness is a part of our journey and you know especially if you have traumas from childhood but you the, 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 the thing to do is to heal those traumas so I've been going to therapy you know I have the tools to be able to pick myself back up so that's why you know I'm back making videos because I'm not about to let this put me down I'm not about to let her win because that's exactly what I'm going to do, let her win. So, you know, being in relationships is a side effect because you you um, didn't have that affection growing up. So you kind of look for that in your partners. And also another one is. Um, did I say it being accepted? Yeah, I did. Um, another one is overachieving when you overachieve and that's one of my things too even in a job I always try to do my best to do my best from the army to having two bachelor's degrees to like I've always been in school I just I just graduated John Casa Blacas like a, a couple months ago that's like an acting school um so I'm always achieving things. I've always had a bunch of, um, even I make the honor roll in high school, but I always had like certificates and stuff around my room and house because I was always an overachiever. 
because I couldn't please my mom. She would never be proud of me. So I think I just was always overachieving to try to feel like I'm achieving something. I don't know what that, but they say that's a side effect of a mother wound. Um, I'm probably going to make a part two to this video. But if you guys deal with people pleasing, being constantly being in relationships, overachieving, um, never feeling good enough, having low self-esteem and low self-worth. What else did I say? So these are some of the main signs to look out for in yourself, especially if you have a mother wound. These are the symptoms that they say come from mother wounds. So when I realized that, I, I'm trying to check it real quick because I'm not about to let her have me. I don't even want to be like her. I don't want any traits like her. And the reason why she is like this is because she allowed these feelings to manifest and grow in her. And I'm not trying to do that. I am trying to get rid of the trauma and be on my highest vibration. I'm going to be happy. And I'm going to compliment other and you know, I'm going to be my best my best self. I'm going to show up as my my authentic happy self and I'm not going to let anybody who's miserable and stuck in a marriage that they can't get out of or don't whatever it is, she's miserable and she does she doesn't like the fact that I'm not basically. She doesn't like that I'm better than her. I'm basically better than her. I hate to say it, but I'm saying it because now I really don't care. <laughs> Y'all, I wrote a whole letter like at least 10 pages long that I was going to send to her. But I more wrote that letter for myself as a way to let go because when that happened a week and a half ago, I let it run over and over in my thoughts. And I don't want to keep doing that. So I put all my thoughts, everything that I ever wanted to say to her on paper. And if I send it to her, I send it to her. If I don't send it to her, it did help me not think about the thoughts anymore because everything I ever wanted to say to her was on paper. And I could send this to her and she could know exactly how I've ever felt since I was a child. And I think with that satisfaction of knowing how she, she's going to one day know how I feel, one day she's going to pay the price for this, kind of helped me let go. I'm not thinking about it as much anymore. That's why I'm back to myself. I let that get to me for like a week and a half and I'm back and I'm here and I'm going to do my what makes me the most excited, that gives me the most joy and that's creating content, making videos. So I'm not going to let her put me in a dark mood and a sad mood. And she got, even got me having arguments with my boyfriend that are unnecessary because she's re-triggering things that I thought were gone. So it's kind of coming out in ways that it shouldn't. But I'm not going to let her have the... I'm not going to let her win this one. Nah, I've been doing too good. I live in California. I live in the, a nice neighborhood. Like, I have a son that I always wanted. I always told myself, even before I had my son, I want a son when I have a kid. And I have a son. And Nick, she's jealous of that because my son is not mentally ill. Only because of what she said to me. That's the only reason why. Because she keeps trying to take him from me. She's jealous. She's been jealous of me since I was a child. And it took all this time. It took to me to get, watch Exoticals United's content to understand how people move when they're envious of you to understand and put all of this together and in therapy to understand that she's just straight jealous of me and that's, it can't be nothing else. My skin is clear. <laughs> I'm not overweight. All of these things she is and she doesn't have any hair. She has alopecia. I have hair. It's just so many things that I could put a finger on it. My boyfriend is actually not a cheater and I think she'd just be looking for reasons for him to be doing something she's just always digging into his trying to figure out who he is and he just refuses to be around that and I am not mad at him but she's always trying to guilt trip me about 
why he don't want to be around me. Because you're a negative person. I don't even want to be around you. But now you know that. But, you know, all of these people that disappeared in my life, all these family members that didn't like her, even my my dad's mom got into it with her growing up. I remember all of these things. She always got into it with people, females in particularly. It took me to an adult to realize who this woman really was. So I'm just done with her. I am done. And I'm back to my happy self because I'm going to choose to be and not to choose to think about it anymore. Because I wrote, it does help if you guys are feeling how I'm feeling, like with your mom, like angry and she triggers you. Cut her off, first of all. Don't even feel guilty about that shit anymore. Because that's what used to take me so long to not cut her out of my life. Because I was worried about feeling guilty. But no. No, she's not going not, to She's not gonna keep taking my joy because she's miserable. M- miserable. Miserable. Misery loves company. And she just loves company. I don't want to be miserable with you. <laughs> Hell no. So write all of your thoughts on paper and it will help. I that, that For some reason it helps. I wrote it down in a letter format. All of everything I've ever felt since I was a kid, all of the anger and all the ways that she never had my back, and how I grow up never feeling like people are always going to leave me because of her. I just wrote everything down on paper. And and if she reads it one day, cool, but it's more for my peace of mind, knowing everything that I ever wanted to say is in a letter to her i wrote it to her and it really did help it did help so i know this one is a little bit long but i just wanted to talk to you guys about what's been going on with me and also make this into a a, you know a video that can also help others to realize that there's certain things that you may do subconsciously are because of your mother wounds there may be other reasons for why you have these symptoms if you recognize these symptoms and you have a good mom but for those with toxic moms these are definitely the side effects that stem from that people pleasing wanting to feel accepted and never feeling accepted being insecure feeling low self-worth um always trying to overachieve and accomplish things um just look out for those things always saying sorry like over people pleasing trying to feel even feeling rejected if you get rejected and feeling worthless because of it because you were trying so hard to please your mom when you were a child and then never was pleased or happy so that's where it comes that's where all of this stuff comes from so I was. I hope I'm able to help somebody out there along with you guys understanding where I'm coming from. And let me get back in this house. It's hot in this car. I just got off of work. So that's why you hear all this noise. But let me get out of this car before I pass out. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in the next video. And let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I might make this a host series I, I know i think i said that before but i think a lot of people need to hear this especially from content creators who do deal with toxic moms because there's a lot of people out there i didn't even know there was as many out there as there is you know you think you're alone and stuff until you realize you're not alone at all there's a lot of people that struggle with this i want to start a support group too So let me know in the comments how y'all feel about me starting a support group for women with toxic mothers, and I will start that process. So have a good day, and I will see you guys next time.